Well, hey everyone, uh, this is Ed with Yak and Pack, and I wanted to show you some really easy to build uh, folding, lightweight, uh, portable kayak racks. Uh, these are great for when you're doing, uh, whether you're cleaning up your kayak or uh, putting a fish finder on, uh, rod holders, um, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, really simple to build and they, they consist of, for the two of them, two 10 foot sticks of one inch Schedule 40 PVC, 16 elbows, four uh, bolts, I believe those are three and a half inch by three eighths, uh, four nuts and oh I think uh, eight washers. Um, they're really easy to build. Uh, they're nice to have. The other designs that I've seen out there, uh, I actually saw uh, where people will wrap this around and then screw it into the, uh, the PVC. I opted out of that mainly for two reasons. Reason one is uh, that I was fearful that the strain on the strap pulling it around uh, would actually create a hole and loosen the strap to allow it to fall. Uh, probably won't do probably won't happen uh, you know like I said that's how other people do it and I'm sure it works great but my main thing was that I wanted to uh, have the extra straps you know if if I have uh, four straps here and for whatever reason if I'm at the house and I need a couple straps or which not likely I I have way too many but uh, you know if I uh, if I need some straps or if I am at the lake and let's say I lose a couple straps for whatever weird reason, I have four more with me. So a uh, couple things, uh, the adjustability on these with using the cam buckle straps is really nice. So I would have this uh, set up to, you know, let's say put my current design on. And uh, you know, it's, it's nice, about waist high and uh, holds it really nice. Uh, let's say I want to put my uh, native manta ray fishing kayak on it. Real easy. All you gotta do is loosen these up, push it down. Now I have a wider base for my fishing kayak. Um, when you do build these, make sure you build a smaller loop and a bigger loop. You can't build them the same size, it will not work. So by having the two loops put together, uh, smaller and bigger, bam, there you go. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, the fittings vary slightly. So I would uh, build your, uh, your bigger loop and then uh, dry fit the, uh, the smaller loop in there, maybe oversize it just a little bit and then figure out how much you have to trim off. That's what I did, it made it easy, but, uh, you know, there you go. Doesn't get much easier than that. I really like these racks. Uh, I've used them for uh, multiple reasons of setting up my kayaks. It's just a lot easier than having the kayak on the ground while you're trying to wash it or like I said, put accessories on it. Uh, or maybe you're doing some hole repair, hole repair um, for a hole. <laughs> So again, this is Ed with Yak and Pack. Uh, get out there, have fun, get on the water, hike the trails, and uh, enjoy yourselves. Be safe and uh, have fun. But most importantly, like I said, get out there. You know, stop watching these dumb YouTube videos. All right? No, really, stop. Stop the YouTube videos. All right. Well, hey, uh, again, this is Ed with Yak and Pack. And uh, you guys have a uh, great time out there.